Hello all, Shoestring here. What I'm going to do this morning is give a demonstration using just a fan lying around the house, a lithium battery, and several different types of inverters. And I'm going to show you and be able to demonstrate, hopefully, why some people say a pure sine wave, which we have right here, works more efficiently than the modified sine waves do. This is a pure 300 watt sine wave. This one here is an energizer. It's a 900 watt. It's a modified. And then of course the Everstart that I've already done a review on, 400 watt, it's also modified. Now, let's make it clear. Any of these inverters will work to make this fan run. We're only talking about efficiency and how quiet it might run. And that's what I'm going to attempt to show you today. And let's go ahead and hook them up. Actually, first what we should do is start out with what does the fan sound and look like if it's running on house power. I, of course, since I set the video up, have a cord right here that run an extension cord that runs to the house power. So we're going to plug it up. Plugged in just to the house power and we're going to turn the fan on. Okay. It is on. You can hopefully you can hear that it's running very quiet for a fan, very smooth, and just your standard, typical, inexpensive fan that you can pick up practically anywhere. It's on the number one setting, and we'll just keep it at one. Nice and smooth and even. Now, I'm going to hook up one of the inverters, the 400 watt first, and then show you how that will work. It is now hooked up, the 400 watt inverter. It's, of course, an Everstart. If you want to know exactly how to do this, how I did it, I did an entire video on how to hook up and use this inverter. Feel free to go to my past videos and find it and take a look and it'll show you exactly how to hook this up and how to use it. Make sure it comes on. Hopefully you can see that. 13.4, it is, the battery is fully charged. And let's go ahead and plug that fan in. Okay, fan is plugged in. Let's see how it works. All right, so it does run the fan, but as you can hear, it's not running it nearly as quietly or as efficiently as the house power does. So you're going to lose some efficiency when you do this, but it's up to you to decide what's best for you and your family. These modified sine wave are a lot less expensive than the sine wave. So there it is. You can hear it. Turn it up. You can hear it even more. It sh you can hear that it's not running as efficiently as it would with the house power. So let's try the next one. We'll do another modified. This will be the 900 watt energizer and we'll hook that up. All right, we have now hooked up bake, same basic principle, 900 watt. It is still a modified sine wave. We turn it on, 13.5. All these, by the way, are going to show you just a little bit different. Um, I have not done a review on this 
type of inverter. I just haven't seen the need and no one has asked for a review of this one yet. But let's continue. Let's go ahead and plug it in, see how the fan works. All right, plugged in. Come over to our fan. Okay. Same thing happened. It runs, but you're still going to have that strange squealing sound. Not as bad as the other inverter, but still, it's a modified sine wave, and that's what you're going to have. You're going to have a decrease of efficiency and may take some of the lifespan off the fan. I'm not really sure about that, but it is very possible, and you should be aware of that. All right, now that we've seen both of those, let's take a look at the pure sine wave, how it works. Go ahead and turn that off. All right, the pure sine wave is now hooked up. As you can see, same basic principle as the other ones. This doesn't have a monitor for the voltage, so you'll just have to check that yourself uh, before you hook it up and make sure that your battery is fully charged. But we know this one is because we've been using it. All right, let's go ahead and hook that fan up and see what happens. Okay, the inverter is on and it is plugged in. Now go over to the fan, see what happens. It starts right up, of course, and as you can hear, there is no squealing at all. It's the exact same sound and efficiency we had with the house power when we had it hooked up to the extension cord. That is the main difference. Efficiency when it comes to pure sine wave as opposed to modified sine wave. It's quieter. It's a cleaner type of energy coming out. And you get pure sine wave for electronic equipment if you can afford it and if you think it's necessary. If you can afford a pure sine wave and you want nice, quiet fans in your house, that's great. For shoestring, though, mostly I use modified, but I did want to show you guys the difference. This is the only pure sine wave I have, and I use it for medical equipment in the house. Right now, I'm just, of course, using it to test. Generally, everything I run, my fans, my electronic setup, the computers, the internet, all runs off modified sine wave, and it works great. That's all for this test. Please, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe, hit the little bell, put something in the comments, tell me what you think, please. I do a lot of my videos off people commenting. So comment, share this with someone that you know that uh, might like this type of video, and shoestring out.